Hello everybody, this is Ronald Kneidenburg for Interdops and today I would like to show you some of our Q4 2023 updates on the BW Bridge Optimizer. Um, first one, uh, we have actually put more functionality in the current cockpit. What is new is the data flow objects, which what it actually does is that you could select one of your favorite info providers you have in the system and you could see the full data flow after execution. So this is very useful because what it does in effect, it shows you the, um, the info provider, but also the source of the info provider and also the target of the info provider. So let's say that you want to migrate a certain object um, and you want to know what the, the total data flow is you need to migrate into the BW bridge. You can now do that per info provider or also select a multitude of them. And of course, we also have the other options still available to check all your transformations to see which objects you need to migrate there and which are used in lookups. So cool functionality, works very well, which basically means you don't have to do any manual work anymore to figure out what is part of your data flow. So that is solution number one. Solution number two is actually really something we're very proud of and that is that we have made a possibility now to also migrate calculation views which could be used during mixed modeling from bw into data sphere um, so what happens often in the past is that um, clients would use calculation views in their bw system basically in the underlying hana database and use that for mixed modeling scenarios it's quite a quite a common scenario the problem however is that currently there is no way to migrate those. Um, so if you want to go to the uh, BW bridge, yeah, basically you have everything which is in calculation views you need to, uh, you need to migrate. Uh, so what we have here on the, uh, on the screen is an example of a calculation view. As you can see, it's not a very simple one. It's, um, it's one with multiple joins, uh, with rank nodes, with distinctions, with aggregates, with formulas, um, basically you name it. Uh, and the cool part is we could actually migrate such a calculation view in order to use it as SQL code in Datasphere. So what happens is that we, what we do is we take the command line and we execute uh, a couple of our scripts in our migration, uh, migration tooling. And what that will do is it will take the calculation view, it will read the results from the XML it has uh, created. And basically what we do then is we get the full code, which can then be transported or imported into Datasphere. And that import can be done by simply using the, um, the new SQL or the new view functionality in Datasphere. Or what you can actually do is also use the uh, command line interface so that you can also en masse migrate all these views into Datasphere. So this is the result. So the migrated view is in Datasphere. Um, and basically all the code which is generated by the conversion tool can be yeah, copy pasted or via the command line interface put into Datasphere. Um, and then the cool part is of course that you can also reuse that view again into different views. So again, it's a basis for, um, yeah, for, other, for other views you can use. Um, so SQL is valid, that's always good. And what we see here is that we will get the results of the calculation view, so which is now in effect running into Datasphere and no longer in the calculation view in HANA. Um, and then what you can do is share it into other spaces as well. Um, so that was a very quick overview of the new functionality we have been working on. We're very happy to, uh, yeah, to announce it today uh, so that we can even do better migration for our customers. Thank you for listening.